Seven sponsors of AmitaCare came together to create a health plan that would advance the best practices, make care available, pharmacy medications available to people living with HIV and AIDS so that people could get the health care that they need to be well. At the time, I was using drugs, and I would get pneumonias like maybe two times a, a, a month. The hospital was my home away from home. So one day, one of the nurses said, would you like to get tested for HIV? I said, I don't care. Why not? And then when the results came back, they told me, oh, you are HIV positive. When I was first diagnosed, I had a fear of insurances, of uh, going to the doctor. Um, I had a, a barrier there. The current way we deliver health care in America is very frightening to the patient. You walk into a place, you don't know where you are, you don't know where to go, you don't know what they're doing to you. My drug use increased. All I wanted to do was get high, you know, so and that's what I did. When you feel alone, you have no one to turn to but yourself. Then when you find out there's other people that care about you, that makes a big difference. Above and beyond care is the kind of care that a member, when they leave, they feel respected. And when the day is done, that they feel better about themselves. Aminicare helped me to begin to walk through some of the barriers that I had when it came to receiving care. What we learned to do well, we learned from listening to members. Our members told us, as a health plan, you need to do more than just tell me to go to the doctor's office and take my medications on time. We developed a Live Your Life program so that people could learn to do healthy, good things for themselves and to have the resources to sustain them so that they could get about the business of living their life. They have a whole team of people going around. And they get the word that you're not, you have been in the care for several months. They send people out to your house. You know, no other plant does that.